Hey, Fight Fans, Bob Rodriguez here once again for the Movement Network, and we are talking boxing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, so, Mikey Garcia is the new, um, he was able to unify the belts at lightweight. He fought a Robert Easton Jr. that did not want to engage. Robert Easton Jr., I don't know what happened to him. He came in blazing the first round, second round, did decent, went down the third round, got back up. And after that, he just either he just started throwing the jab, and that's all he did. He just threw the jab all night. Did not throw the overhand right, which is the regular right. Uh, no combinations, nothing out of Robert Easton Jr. Uh, it was it was it was a bad performance for him. Um, either he got to go up in weight or uh, or something, but uh, um, he went down in the third round, got back up. Shut down after that, just through the the jab. Now it's interesting because the ninth round, he he stood his he tried to stand his ground, and uh, Mikey Garcia put a beating on him. And I had Mikey Garcia whooping him. It was a close fight before the fourth round. After that, Mikey Garcia just took over. It wasn't a beating. Robert Easton Jr. did not engage. He was just. He was on the back foot, just taking a step back, throwing the jab the whole night. And it was hard for Mikey to get in. Mikey Garcia is not a reckless fighter. He doesn't throw a punch if he's not about 98% sure it's going to land. Um, but what's interesting is that after the fight, uh, Mikey Garcia again called out my, my main uh, Earl Spence Jr., which I don't think it's a good... Um, it's a good match for him. I think Earl will be too strong, too big, too powerful, everything. Um, it's a bad match for, for Mikey. But um, when when after the fight, um, Mikey Garcia called Earl out. And uh, you can see Earl, um, you know, excited, thinking, you know what? I'm going to knock this boy out. And I truly do think that Earl has the capability of stopping Mikey Garcia, not because of lack of talent, because it, it, he just, it's not his weight. It's, it's too small for that weight class. I don't know what the hell he's thinking, but I guess the fight is going to happen. In other news, um, today, uh, Ortiz, King Kong, came back with a sensational KO. It was such a great KO from a guy named Kahuna. Whatever his name is, uh, the guy Kahuna had to come in. He was showing off. He was acting as if uh, King Kong had nothing on him, as they say, and uh, caught him, put him to sleep. Guy tried to get up. Uh, ref stopped the fight. It was useless. Um, it was one of those things that you know the guy was outmatched anyway. It, it, the guy had no business in there with uh, Ortiz, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, if you haven't heard the other podcasts that I did today, I had some great stuff, um, you know, from from uh, the main event, Parker and White, what a great fight, what a great, great fight that was, but even 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 uh, more than that was Chisora um, versus Takim, that was a hell of a good fight. If you guys haven't watched those fights, I suggest you guys watch Chisora was attack him and right after that watch the uh, the white fight it, it, was, uh, it was a great fight joseph parker came to fight it was a good 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 heavyweight matches today anyway thank you guys for uh, listening to this podcast catch you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe enjoy your evening